to another YouTube video here. So I'm trying to get rid of these uh, carp grass here. As you can see, they grow, they don't look right, they don't match my grass. Step one is I take a pair and say weed kill and grass killer. And I spray a little bit. And I just spray a little bit and in a couple days they turn yellow and they die. So when they turn yellow and they die, as you can see here, this one I did. You just, you just take a, uh, a rake and just loosen up the soil. Okay. What, the reason why you're doing that is you should loosen up the soil because once you put the seed, once you put the seed in there, the seed drops in that loose soil because seed has to have loose. See, it has to have loose soil for it to germinate and grow. And that's the reason why you're raking it, loosening up the soil underneath the dead grass. Now the dead grass is going to act like a, a sponge, so it's going to it's gonna make the seed germinate a lot quicker once it gets rain on and wet. Plus, it helps the seed not fold away. So once you rake it, you Sprinkle a little seed on here and see how I do that. I did that. Sprinkle a little bit. You know. Just kind of use your hand to shuffle around so the seed can fall down there and then into those little groove that you just dig. And then uh, you can water it. I recommend watering right afterward or you can do it the day before it rains. And here in a couple days, in a week, you see results. And I'll give you an example. See, this one I did, you can see how I just see a rake that put the seed on there and here in a couple weeks, it grew. Just like that, it's simple. You know? That's the reason why I did it like that, because it saves time. This is the weed and grass killer I use. It pretty much just kills everything. Anything that you don't want in your grass, this will work on. It's great. And you can I have a, a product link below. And if you want to order it, just click on it. 